Hey, what's up, folks? It's me, Sunny T, with another podcast for marketers exclusive. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the bullshit intro. If you want to know where else you can catch me on social media, just look at any one of my other fucking videos. Go to podcastformarketers.com. I got a free MP3 player for you over there. You do have to pay for your fucking shipping, right? And smash that thumbs up if you like that video, this video, and sub fucking scribe to my channel if you like the content. Boom. We're all done. No intro today. Fuck off. Yeah. All right. So today... Well, I'm not really talking about shit again, right? I'll just be honest with you. So if you're here to talk about the social media marketing agency course or whatever the fuck you're here, beat it. Uh, well, I'll, maybe I'll talk about it at the end of this, okay? But um, it's just like uh, one of my subscribers said, and uh, well, she, she calls herself Extraordinary Living, right? Uh, if you had a fucking name, I'd call you by your first fucking name. So this is almost like a vlog. And you know what's funny is that you mentioned that uh, – I was looking out for people that kind of came to my channel that wouldn't give a fuck about me, right? Well, here's the thing. I have what's in it for me so ingrained in my head that I think everybody says fuck Sonny, okay? Not even just my subscribers. I'm figuring everybody's like, fuck Sonny, <laughs> right? We don't care about you, Sonny. Fuck you and tell us what can we get, I, right? And so I, I have come... Uh, to that mindset, right? And it's a really good mindset to be in. And which brings me on into today's subject, right? So you did ask me by you saying we FM and you said we are interested in what's going on with you. That means that a part of what's going on with me is actually what's in it for you to some degree. Like you'd like to know what's happening with us. So first of all, I want to tell you that we did get moved and you asked, did I sell my old house? That would be a no. I'm never selling it. Um, part of the reason why I'm doing everything that I do is for a legacy. So someone else can buy that house. That house will never be sold ever in my legacy being handed down from generation to generation. Uh, a part of my will will be that it can never be sold and it has to be given to, you know, the first boy of every fucking generation. So uh, right now my daughter has three sons, so she, you know, they can all have a piece of it. And then whoever ends up with that house, if they've got girls, well, they suck, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so girls are in the bottom of the line. If there's no if there's no boys, then the oldest girl will get the house in every generation, right? But then it's passed down man to man. <laughs> if I was a woman, then I would pass it down to women, right? But that's it. Here, this is coming from a guy that has all girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <wife>. Yeah. <laughs> My wife's over there talking shit. All right. So uh so that's what's going on. So the old house did not get sold. Now, are we are not in the new house right now because we moved down here first to do some shopping. And the house that we're in now sucks ass. I am definitely not in my comfort zone. I don't like it. It's drafty. And you know what's funny is that everything is wrong with this house. Once you get something in your mind set, everything's the house is drafty. We went to the uh to the baker. The baker sucks. It's not like our baker, you know. The, the we, we got some apple apple pies. And there's not enough apples in these pies. It's not heavy enough, you know. Nothing's quite right. The house is drafty. Uh we wish we had more heaters. Uh everything from the bathroom is just not as nice as our bathroom or whatever, right? Our mind is set on what we have already. And that kind of brings me to what I wanted to talk to today, okay? Mindset. Have, I see people, a lot of people ask me, you know, what are some of the favorite books or what are your books or what are some of the courses that you would buy for marketing, okay? And working online in general. And the first thing I want to tell you is all about mindset. Just like my wife and I hate this house that we're in. It's actually a lovely little house. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is. It's a lovely little house. We have a nice outdoor, very private uh, terrace outside with a barbecue pit. 
Uh, very nice, spacious bedrooms, a nice living room that I'm in right now recording this on. It is a night, and the kitchen is lovely. It's better than our kitchen that we have at home, right? But we're still talking shit about it because our mind is at home. And that's a problem with marketers. First thing I want to say is like uh, this Muhammad guy. Muhammad asked me, first of all, he, he, he said, I saw, I, 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 I watched your, uh, your, your video. But number one, and he asked a bunch of questions. And number two, he asked a bunch of questions, right? And again, uh, Muhammad, you haven't been around very long. And you probably need to understand a couple of things. Um, it's your mindset, bro. You got to stop thinking on step one, step two, step fucking three with marketing or doing anything online for that matter. Everything needs to be tested. And that's the whole mindset. We're used to going to Home Depot or wherever it is that you live, the the Walmart of wherever you live. And we're used to buying something and it, and it works. And if it's broken, we take it back. Right? So whatever you're doing, even for your clients is going to be broken. So that's the first thing in your mindset. It's just like when my wife and I moved here, we realized everything's shit, right? We, we should have known that because why we're moving and we know we're going to compare everything to what we had before. Okay, everything we're going to look backwards and we're going to look back there and go, well, this was like this. This was like that. And this was like this. And people are doing that with marketing and you just can't do that because nothing with marketing is like you have is nothing like whatever you've done before. Okay, it's it's all brand new. And the fucked up thing about it is it's broken. Okay, so you're not going to handle everything like you did before. With marketing, everything's done because when you bought everything before, everything was fixed. It was like it worked how you thought it should work. I bought a microwave. I pulled it out of the box. I plugged it in and it worked. It heated, it, you know, heated up my food. Well, if that was a microwave in the marketing world, you would have pulled it out of the box. You'd have had to put knobs on it. You'd have had to figure out that this knob doesn't go there. You have to take it back off and put it somewhere else. Then you have to put the knob on that's supposed to go there. And then when you turn it to number 10 to heat up the food, that's really not number 10. You got to turn it down to number eight. And then you're going to find out that number eight sucks. <laughs> right? And then you're going to turn it to number six and a half. And that might be okay. But then you'll try seven and a half. And like, uh, well, that's getting close. Seven and three quarters is a little better. Now let's bag it off just a tad. That's what goes on with marketing, dude. So you're asking me what you should do. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Go test, right? And find out what works best. Because if, if, if you ever asked a question in marketing to say, uh, Hey, Sonny, how should I, and this is the next question you asked, how should you market your channel? You couldn't find one YouTube video for one. That's a fucking problem. Quit looking for all your answers on YouTube. YouTube is only a place to go tweak some things that you already know for certain. Okay, so stop going to YouTube fucking university and buy some books, go to the library, go, go fucking buy a course that you don't want to pay for and fucking find out. Now, if there's no course or no book on how to advertise your YouTube channel, okay, is that going to stop you from trying, right? How do you advertise your YouTube channel? Well, there's no book and there's no YouTube video and Sonny wouldn't fucking tell me. So I'm just not going to do it. Is that how that works? Well, that would suck ass, wouldn't it? For you, because what am I going to do? Because I couldn't find a book or anything to advertise my YouTube channel either, right? But what do I do? I go buy a fucking ad, right? And how I'm going to approach it is I'm going to put up a video that I think my audience would resonate with. So I'm not going to advertise my whole channel. We want to be very specific in our advertising, right? So this also tells me that you might not be quite ready to do any advertising because you should already know this. So now being specific, I don't want to send them to the branded podcast for marketers channel, do I? Because it's too fucking broad. I've got a lot of shit on my channel, but... If I know I have an audience and I know that a video that was doing well is my cold call video and I had an audience, they may resonate with that. Well, how about I send them to a free 
people love free what's in it for them video on a oh, fox honey did i spell that right backwards did you guys see that shit right there <laughs> on even cold calling right so now now we have some type of uh copy looking good we've got a a video that we can do right so now we're looking like buying an ad right on uh facebook and we've got some fucking uh copy here and we go straight to a particular video people are nosy you found my website you found my classes you find people find shit that i had up 10 years ago Right. People are nosy. They're going to figure it out. So when you go to a video, they're going to automatically click on the channel and they're going to look through all of your other videos and warm themselves up. And then you should have in every video, you should have just like old Sonny does where your website is. Right. This is actually what we call native advertising and what you're asking about there, sir. And you probably should do a little bit of research on native advertising, not how to advertise your YouTube channel, because that would be the rookie way to do it. A noob. Look up native advertising, and that will help you to understand how it works. A lot of people don't like doing that, but it's actually the bomb.com. Native advertising just sends people to information an info page, if you will, that looks like it's valuable, okay? So it looks like it has tons of value. And this is what they're talking about, people talking about giving up value. Not that you're giving up your trade secrets for free. It's just giving somebody something that is perceived valuable so they won't just throw it out, like junk mail. And this is where the guys, our founding fathers of direct marketing, came up with value. So how we do that on the internet is putting up a page that looks valuable, that has tons of information, but sneak those little Johnson boxes inside of there with click-throughs about every six paragraphs or so, talking about what they want, leaving a little nom, some curiosity-based headlines in there. Click here if you want whatever's going on in there, right? So with your video, you have two choices here, okay? With your video, you have two choices. I guess we're done with the fucking vlog now, so we can talk about you guys. So now, <laughs> you have two choices here. You can either go to an advertorial, which is what they're called, okay? Advertory. All right, I almost spelled it right. All right, so advertorial, or you can go straight to YouTube. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> so on your advertorial would sit your YouTube video anyways with the fucking branding all over it anyways, right? A little bit of information, Johnson Box, a little bit of information, Johnson Box, probably a little pop-up over here or something like that, trying to lead them to give up their email address, okay? Over here, they just go right to YouTube channel, but all your information here would be in the description. And in said YouTube video, you know, click fucking below to go to my fucking website. Now, it doesn't matter. People will be um, interested in your shit no matter what, and they're going to go look if they like your content. They're going to go looking at your website, and they want to know what you are all about. So it doesn't matter which way of these you choose. If you would rather than be more informed about your YouTube channel and subscribe to your channel, it makes more sense to send them here and ask for their information to come to your website. If you're more interested in getting their emails, which is what I would fucking do, then you should send them to a page with your YouTube video embedded. People are nosy. They're going to see that YouTube uh, 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 bug in your video. And they're sure enough going to click it to watch on YouTube. Sure enough, they're going to do that, right? You're going to tell them subscribe and go. So I would always be looking for conversions and getting that email and then sending them over to a YouTube channel. Uh, so that's how I would advertise a YouTube channel direct, right? Because you've never seen anything on it. Well, now you fucking have. So now going back to mindset, guys. When you're talking about your mindset, which is what brought us here because my wife and I are all fucked up about where we're living right now, right? Because <laughs> we, we fucking hate it. I swear to you, we spent the first 24 hours here like, I want to go home, literally. Both of us, I want to go home, right? 
<laughs> this sucks. <laughs> right? I'm going to put up uh, tomorrow. You guys are going to see uh, some waves and stuff like that. They show you some pictures of where we live. You're gonna go, you guys suck. Don't, don't cry about that. <laughs> right? So anyways, when you're talking about mindset and people were asking like some of the best books to buy right now, one of my favorite books is Dan. I can't spell his last name. You look it up. But Meredith, uh, how to be how even Sonny to be fucking uh, and it's really the name of his book. Fucking awesome. OK, uh, that's one of my favorite books right now. I just read it and it's really dealing with mindset. Half the time that we're talking about doing things online, folks, mindset is pretty much the first part. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now, right? If you had a pie here, whoa, did a little circle there. I never use the shapes in this fucking thing. You think we should one day, folks? Should we try? We should try to use the shapes here. My wife said because she's a big shape person. All right, so there we go. All right, so if you had that, okay, and you wanted to try to figure out how much, and this is marketing, how much of it is mindset and how much of it is fucking uh, actual button clicking, this would be mindset here. And the rest of it here would be actual button clicking, okay? <laughs> This is all mindset here. 90% folks of marketing online or any job that you do online is going to be mindset and how you think about it, what you do about it. You need to change the way you think about marketing in general and how you think that the internet works. Okay. So I'm not going to talk a whole bunch about a shit that, that that's in a lot of my other videos. Just go looking back at my videos. There's a lot of nuggets and shit. And the one thing that I will tell you that about my videos is that if you can't make it past the first seven minutes or eight, 10 minutes or whatever, you're losing. I hide the most of my really good content in the 25th minute of my fucking videos in the 30th minute of my videos. And I do that on purpose because I really want to know who's really uh, interested in what I have to say. And a lot of people will come and tell me, Sonny, that last few minutes of that video was really awesome. And then I'll know, okay, this person is awesomeness. Which brings me to my next subject really quickly. Okay, so you guys want to know, some people asked before, about marketing online for your clients. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Let's talk about the social fucking media marketing agency. And here we are, 17 minutes in. Some of you might be here, right? But for the guys that don't give a fuck about social media marketing agencies, then don't fucking stay here because that's what this is about. <laughs> okay, so here we go talking about an SMMA, which I'm telling you now, I think is a bullshit fucking job. I think that there's way too many moving parts for newbie marketers. And I honestly think that it's fucking bullshit. And there's this whole craze that Ty Lopez has started about starting a social media marketing agency. And there's tons of you guys out there fucking off a whole bunch of time. And you could be making a bunch of money. My new course, I'm going to plug my fucking self right here, right now, right now. You should see my face. I look fucking serious, don't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My new my new course that I'm coming out is called Living. I'm bucking uh, Living La Vida Loca, right? <laughs> How to live the laptop lifestyle on five dollars a day. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make money and live the laptop lifestyle. You can travel the world on five bucks a day. And I know it works because I've been fucking doing it over the last three weeks, two weeks over the last two weeks. And I've been kicking ass and taking fucking names. All right, end of said plug. That wasn't people, oh, I'm a shameless plug. No, this is not shameless. I'm fucking plugging my shit. <laughs> All, right. All right, now, on with the social media marketing agency. Here's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, about email marketing and marketing for companies that you're, you're going to do this whole fucking deal with, if you're going to do it. It's called racking the shotgun, Okay. And I do it all the time, and I just did it, okay? Now, if you've ever been watching a movie, right? And it's fucking hilarious, and I always I always talk about it. Because I mean, how many times are you going to rack that shotgun, right? You'll hear people, the first time they're like a sheriff gets mad, hey, I said put your hands up, and they rack the shotgun. And then they'll do it again. 
I said, right? Well, that's two fucking shells you just ejected right out of that fucking shotgun. But that sound, yeah, <laughs> my wife is dying over here, right? But that sound gets your attention. Even when I just did it, my wife looked up like, what? Right? She knows. Racking the shotgun is another, just something else to say in marketing that I'm going to make a lot of noise to see who's paying attention. Now, the story goes that there was two guys in a bar, right? You guys ever heard this? Uh, no, there's three guys in a bar, a black man, a white man, a Chinese man. We had those jokes forever when I was a kid. Did you guys ever have those jokes? The white man, black man, Chinese jokes? <laughs> there were three guys in a boat, a white man, a black man, a Chinese man. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what were we thinking? All right, so anyway, so there's two guys... <laughs> There's two guys in a bar, and the one guy's a poker player. You can people say this is a, a, a lot of different ways, right? But uh, they're going to a bar, and there's one guy that went to Las Vegas, and he wanted to learn how to be a poker player. And one of the older guys took him under his wing, and so he went to a bar with the guy, and he sat down, and uh, or he actually went to do to an old like saloon type club or whatever, and it was like a strip bar, and all the old poker players were in there playing. Uh, that, you know, kind of visited a joint. And so he sat and he put his, he ordered a couple of beers and he pulled out a shotgun underneath the table and he, and he cracked that shotgun. And a lot of people turned around, a few bit, and other people just kept dancing. And he says, and he told the little young poker dude, he says, hey man, all the guys that turn around, you never want to pay poker against them, play poker against them. And basically because those guys are in the know, they're street guys. And they, he racked that shotgun. He goes, but everybody else that didn't pay attention, didn't understand what that fucking was. Those are the guys that you want to play poker against. If you do that for your clients, you're kicking ass. And I just did it. Okay. So how did I do it? When I said that I got a new course coming out called living La Vida Loca, living the laptop lifestyle for $5 a day. You can pretty much guarantee that I'm going to get about 30 to 40 emails. Hey, Sonny, when are you coming out with that new course? I racked the shotgun. That lets me know who's really paying attention, number one. Number two, it lets me know who are my real people, who are my squad members, who are in my, who are these people that are in my tribe and are 100% ready to do business with me today, who really believes in my content, who loves the way I teach, who really gets into Sunny, right? That's racking the shotgun. And that right there, folks, is all you're going to get for today. But what you want to do for your clients is rack that fucking shotgun every time you get a chance and start segmenting your email list. I'll tell you more about fucking coffee break. Ah. <laughs>